Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time again to another music reaction. So guys, like I said not long ago, every time I sit down to do some reactions, I'm going to try to pump out some of these Ivor videos uh, from the 2020 Segal uh, release show that she did. Uh, thanks to Glenn again for providing that to me. Uh, you're awesome, dude. Uh, so hey, I just, you know, I just reacted to this song uh, a couple days ago, Salt. I did a double header, it was the all album and the Live at the Train Warehouse version. I had initially planned to just do the, the album version and then the, the version from this release show, but so many people had requested this Train Warehouse one uh, dating months back, so that's why I did that. However, I was looking at the set list and the next two songs that are up on this release show is Salt and Truth. So. It turns out I have I I don't know how I forgot this, but this was the second song of hers I ever heard. Um, the first one I ever heard from her was "Falling Free," and it was so good that I did two reactions of hers that first time I heard of her. And the second one I checked out was "Truth," which that song was awesome. And I did react to this live at Studio Block version. Uh, there it is, right there. So if uh, anyone's interested in seeing that, I'll link that in the comments. So you know what we're gonna do this time? We're gonna do a double header. It'll be. Um, both uh, performances from the 2020 Segal release show, but we're just going to check out the live version of, on there of Salt and then the live version of Truth on that. So yeah, if you guys are interested, um, I already did this uh, Salt reaction a few days ago. If you haven't seen that and you want to see it, check that out. And if you want to see this Truth reaction I did about four months ago uh, to the Studio Block version, you can go check that out. But yeah, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, picking up right where we left off on the show last time we had a reaction that had a video from this. Uh, here we go. This is going to be uh, Salt and then uh, Truth. Hitting way harder than the train warehouse. sounds beautiful in this mix. She does every performance, it's a little different. Okay, let me just stop for a moment. I want to comment on this. Um, yeah, this... Okay, so yeah, of course the mixing is a little bit different in this compared to the train warehouse, but I'm already noticing a difference that I absolutely love. So, you know, the main percussion in this song, other than her playing that drum, 
uh, the drummer's kind of doing this beat where it's like, uh, uh, <laughs> but um, and that's in the uh, the album version and in the Train Warehouse. But in this version, he kind of uh, makes the beat more straightforward, and I love that version of the beat more than I like that other one that I just kind of did the sounds for. Like this. That's different. Okay, he switches it up again. Oh, not yet. Yeah, I like this straightforward beat more. This is where it switches. Back to the other one. Oh, that sounds beautiful. The atmospherics on this part. The keyboard. Oh. Oh, yeah. I love this more straightforward beat. Okay, before we go further and get into truth, um, this version has its merits too. I know a lot of people, um, I think a lot of people said their first exposure to Ivor was uh, the uh, train warehouse version, and I know it's going to hold a lot of, uh, you know, a special place in a lot of people's hearts, just like that Falling Free live performance uh, one was at Torshaven uh, is for me, but I love this version too, man. And again, one of the big drivers here in me coming up with that decision is that I just love the change in the beat here. Now the beat is more straightforward. And uh, like I said, I prefer the more than I prefer the that's just me personally. And I think that change makes this song sound just so much more powerful. Um, but yeah, I awesome song. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it too much, but obviously her voice is beautiful. Uh, I've said this before. Ivor has the best voice of any artist I've reacted to on, the, on this channel. So please don't think I'm, I'm overlooking that. I, I absolutely understand that she has one of the best voices ever. So yeah. Uh, let's keep going. Truth.
Tusen takk for det. I handen av det man slipper er at nå da hører vi også ned at presentere deg om fyr som... Oh, this is good, because I need to familiarize myself with the band. Utrolig og deilig. Veldig ikke noen som jeg har vært med å fatte noen her. Og jeg var i hvert fall ikke kjenne deg, og jeg har møtt dem før, men dette skal være ordentlig. Det skal være aksjon ordentlig, offisielt. Holdt seg bak på en annen. Og her som er nær av Steinway, Flygel, og Sunter og så har det ut. Her har vi et ungene annen enn Mathias Kappnes! Mathias! Okay. Og Mavrin som spiller bass og Sunter som stender her, han heter Mikael Black! Mikael! Så er det han som sitter etter for trommen her, og rocker. Det her er Per Ingvaldur Højgaard Petersen. Ok, jeg må ha til å prøve det navnet av kamera. Yes, nå må vi få bo her til å ette et lær fra seg, platene. Og det her neste leiet her er et lær som handler om at... Ja, det er... Truth is a great song, too. Du er fremmande, og kanskje at du er overvante deg som man ikke ordentlig har hukket som før. Da har man tenkt noe som gjøre livet større, være litt rykt, være fjølbrøyt. Og det er leie til å øyde truth. Nice to see her insight on that, too. Because I went into that one kind of blind. And I'm eager to see the differences uh, in this version from the other one, Studio Block. I, I haven't heard the album version, but I kind of wanted to just do these two. But um, yeah. You're a stranger in the streets, and I see. Beautiful voice, man. And not me. <laughs> oh, man, this is such a beautiful chorus. Yeah, this is an awesome song, too, man.
really like that effect on that the guy's cracking vocals. Wow, man, her voice on this one. Beautiful. Love is all that matters. Love is all that matters. Wow. Yes. That was a, a beautiful performance of that, too. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I heard that uh, studio block version, so I'm gonna have to go back to compare, see exactly what all was different. Um, because again, like I mentioned in uh, Salt, I love how every performance there's something just a little bit different. Uh, and I'm sure there was a couple things that uh, I'm not remembering at this moment, but yeah, what a beautiful song. I love that chorus, man. I'm sorry if I, I ruined it uh, joining in on that first chorus, but I knew it was coming. Uh, I just love when she hits that high note. Uh, yeah, and her vocals were uh, beautiful in this version, too. Um, anytime she did a sustained note, man, anytime she does a sustained note, period, it's just, uh, it's otherworldly. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, God, okay, well, yeah, we're going to do this whole damn concert, man. Um, you know, I thought I was going to skip Salt, like I said, and just check out the train version, but screw it. We're going to do the whole thing. Thank you again, Glenn, for providing this. Um Hey, if you guys are still watching this, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, thanks for your patience in another doubleheader. And uh, yeah, if you haven't heard Ivor, go check her out, man. Again, I always say this in every other video, but my all-time favorite song of hers is still Falling Free. Go check that out live at Torshavn. And we will see you guys in the next one.